Hey guys, it's in here. Welcome to another video with me for Hubris Mosaic. Um, a bit of a different video this time. I've done a bit of a, a mega mix of some games I've played recently. Uh, it's the here Shovel Knight, which you may have seen my other Shovel Knight video, uh, which I loved. I've released uh, another free update for this with another character you can play. So I've been playing through this again. It's Brill. Okay, so kicking us off with this video, here is uh, a King's Tale. So this is sort of a, a weird prequel brawler to Final Fantasy XV, um, where you play as Noctis, the lead character from Final Fantasy XV's father, and you run along and fight uh, Final Fantasy enemies. It's um, quite short, quite weird, but free. So I quite enjoyed it. Um, it, was, it was amazing, but for free, it's not bad. There's gotta be some way we can grab it. There is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. You suck, Drake. Uncharted 4! Yay! Oh, don't watch out. Um, this game is really good, actually. Uh, I really enjoyed this game. I think the third one, for me, didn't really work brilliantly. I think they went a little bit over the top of the set pieces. This one's a little bit more down-to-earth, a bit more straightforward. I say down-to-earth than Blubber Tank, of course. Um, and it's got this amazing rope mechanic, which sounds, sounds lame so, to be so excited about, but sort of real-time swinging about on ropes, climbing up and down ropes, which it just works really nicely. You can see, wee. <laughs> it's a bit of a Spider-Man thing. Um, the facial animation in the cutscenes as well is absolutely amazing. Look at these guys, they're having a bit of a marriage argument. Yep, this is pretty much exactly what it's like when you have an argument with your wife. Let it die. Let it die is a free, free to download for PS4. Um, Souls like is that is that a genre now? It's a Dark Souls ish game. Um, the weird, the kind of hook I guess in this is when you die, you then start a new character and you have to go and kill your old character to get all your gear back, which is quite a cool idea. Um, it's sort of a weird game. I, I'll be honest. I need to give this one a bit more time. I've not played it as much as I would like. But it looks, the outside is quite interesting. It looks like there's quite a lot of sort of exploring and things to find. It's kind of odd. You see, I'm about to attack this guy. I've got like a, what is that, an angle grinder or whatever you call it, in one hand and I'm just punch with it. <laughs> such a weird game. Assassin's Creed Landon! Here we are in the Victorian workhouse. So this is uh, the new, was the newest one. There's a new one soon, isn't there? The Assassin's Creed. If you've, if you've played Assassin's Creed before, if you have, you probably know what to expect. Basically, it's Assassin's Creed in Victorian London. You walk around, do some missions, do some stabbing things. It's all right. Um, the newest thing, as you can see, is the zip wire, which makes climbing up buildings so much easier. You can also use it as a tightrope um, to get across big gaps and stuff. Uh, there's also magical footballers. Uh, as you can see, this child um, clearly some sort of wizard or telekinetic person, and um, the usual cast of uh, guest characters: Florence Nightingale there, Charles Dickens, uh, and I'm sure that Queen Victoria definitely met assassins in her reign. Yeah. Aragami. Have you played Tenchu? That's the question. This game is a lot like Tenchu, but with some sort of supernatural elements. Um, sort of almost like uh, Dishonored style things, where you can teleport around and kill people from a distance. Um, a lot of sneaking about, killing people. Basically, you're uh, a spirit who's been summoned to help uh, somebody do some stuff and <laughs> kill people. <laughs> Mostly kill people and sneak about. Um, I quite enjoy this game, actually. It was it's not it's a bit derivative it's maybe you know it's i think it's it's a small team sort of indie game um you can tell it's not you know triple a or whatever but it's enjoyable it's an enjoyable game highly recommended it. 
and Persona 5. So anyone who knows me knows that I have a bit of a love of weird Japanese games. Um, Persona 5 fits that bill very well. Unfortunately I can't show you too much of Persona 5 because Atlas, in their great wisdom, the publishers decided that only the first sort of mission can be recorded by the PlayStation's internal recording features. Um, so here we are on the first sort of prequel, pre-story mission. There's a bit of a weird framing device on this game where you're telling a, telling a detective about a, 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 thievery that you took part in. But look at it, it's, it's stylish, it's crazy, it's I'm fighting a giant ball thing. Uh, look at this is look at the menu, the menu is all over the place. It, it's actually quite hard to follow <laughs> at the start because there's so much going on. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Um, if you like because kind of sort of dungeon crawly stuff, uh, turn-based RPGs and pretending to be a Japanese teenager, then there's definitely something for you in here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we've got a whole load more videos coming up uh, soon, so stay subscribed and we'll see you again soon.